Ray Vargas versus Oshaki Foster fighting for the vacated WBC Junior Lightweight Championship at 130 pounds. The WBC Junior Lightweight Championship became available once former champion Shakur Stevenson could no longer make the weight and lost a bit on the scales and decided to move up to 135. Vargas, a two world division champion already at 122 and 126, decided to move up to his third weight division at 130 pounds. But Oshaki Foster was waiting for him, told him that's nothing for you here, bruh, but a plate of hot L's, but you can take one with you. And that's exactly what Vargas did with the quickness of Oshaki Foster. Man, you want to talk about speed kills? The level of quickness that Oshaki Foster showed Vargas was too much for the guy to handle. Vargas, who fights off his jab, couldn't get his combination going because the level of feints Oshaki Foster was feints that Oshaki Foster was giving him. Vargas couldn't find his range or rhythm to get going. Oshaki Foster also kept his backs off the rope, kept the fight in the middle of the ring, and utilized it by stepping in and out and gave Ray Vargas a difficult target to hit. Even though Ray Vargas has a height advantage, Coming in at 5'10 and Oshaki Foster 5'6. The reach is exactly the same on both men. Both arm lengths measured at 71 and a half inches. So Oshaki Foster had no problem keeping the distance and staying at a safe range. Ray Vargas coming in at 36 and 0 and 22 and Oshaki Foster 19, 2 and 11. And you can kind of question those two losses. And you can question the two losses on Oshaki Foster record given that Oshaki struggling with his mother's loss who died of cancer at the age of 12 and found himself in and out of trouble. And then his cousin died four days before his second loss. Oshaki didn't have the focus that he has now, which I'm glad he dialed in and found himself the new junior lightweight WBC champion. This is, a, this is the first defeat of Ray Vargas' career, but the man is still a two-division champion. Ray Vargas still a two-division champion at 122-126, still has his titles to defend, so he's not empty-handed. But Ray Vargas himself said he might just stay at 126 and not come back to 130. Oshaki Foster already said he wanted to unify and become a unified champion at the weight class. I said it in my previous video. The smaller weight class classes is the shine of the sport right now with the heavyweight division finding itself hard to attract viewerships and everything down below that the heavyweight division used to be the king of sports and brought everybody into the boxing universe because everybody loved the big guys and they love to see knockouts but now you still get the knockouts but you get a better play but you just get it at the lower weight classes and the styles in those weight divisions lower weight divisions makes for pretty good matchups for us all to enjoy so i can't wait to see what's next on oshaki foster's given the display he the level of quickness the level of transition from the lower and the upper body and the ring iq ray vargas which ray means king still the king got the lower weight divisions at 122 and 126 so even though he has one loss on his record now i would like to see who he would fight back at 126 also that's all i got for now hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification comment down below let me know how i did this is big og and i'm out